<laughs> right, let's look forward to the Manchester United game on uh, your obviously Thursday, Sunday. That's what life's yeah. like for a Manchester United fan nowadays. Um, so you're playing on Sunday. You're the early, <laughs> you're the early kickoff uh, at home to Stoke. Former Manchester United legend in a lot of trouble there. Are you going to hammer the final nail into Mark Hughes's coffin on the, on the weekend? I hope so. Um, not much love for managers on this sofa. You want to get Greenland sat. You want to get Mark Hughes sat. <laughs> He's a legend. <laughs> He was a legend, and I don't believe in being too historical. Then we need to get rid of Steve Bruce and many others, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, look, there's, look, against City, the one thing that we learn is Mourinho's old power play setup, where you're trying to be more physical than the other team, it definitely didn't work. And there might be an argument that the Premier League's too quick at the moment for that. But then the moment we then went for dyn dynamism, I think would be the right word, we brought in Herrera over Fellaini. Uh, we bought Blind in the left back and we went for delivery and precision instead of pace. Mm. The team played a lot better, albeit it was a lot, a lot of it was from set pieces, no denying that. It wasn't the best United display. It wasn't actually the worst Leicester display. It was just three corners. The rest of it is, is once again, it's a grey over mm. how well Man United actually played. The fans got behind them. Leicester lost their, their heads for, for, what, ten minutes. That was it. So you can't look too much into it. But one thing's for sure, when you take out players like Fellaini and you bring in someone like a Herrera and you go... And, well, yeah, I can't ignore Rooney. Mm. I can't ignore it because actually Mata playing in the middle as an interchangeable 10 was, was the most exciting thing that we saw on the day. Mm. But from a footballing perspective, like taking my Liverpool hat off, I was so happy to see Mourinho drop Rooney because I just don't think he, at the moment... For me, he's, he's, he's very much like Gerald was two years ago, you know, when we were chasing the title and he was very much a quarterback playing that sort mm. of DMC role where he was just like spraying balls around. Mm. And for me, that's Rooney's probably, probably best attribute at the moment is to play that, that sort of just sit back and spray well, the balls thing is, around. Rooney was, you, was, was so comfortable picking up the ball in a 10 position and turning to face goal. And at the moment, he can't do that. He hasn't been able to do it for 12 months. Whether that's the opposition closing him down, whether that's confidence, or the fact that he's lost that yard of pace or that yard of vision mm. to be able to play the next ball and play the one-two or run onto... He's not doing that at the moment. Mata is doing it. Lingard came in, and he's actually got the link-up play that Man United need at the moment. It, we found far more pace. It was far easier to get from, from your DMC, your central midfield, to the flanks than it is... For, well, Fellaini... As and when he wins the ball, I'm not actually the, the, the biggest... Um, I don't think Fellaini's the worst player I've ever seen, but I think he's a physical ball winner. He's not a ball player. Mm. Herrera's a ball player. And with Herrera coming into the team against Leicester, what we saw is it was very quickly put to the flanks, Herrera pushed up, and what we then saw was you had six or seven people pressing in on the goal. Um, that's what we need to see again against Stoke. We haven't found our first 11. Mm. In the Europa League, we keep trying to see if... Um, if Fellaini works, once again, we're trying to see. It doesn't yeah. work. Rojo has probably proven that he hasn't got the quality at top two, top three level, if that's yeah, I what Rojo and it was, I thought Rojo was poor last night. He was awful. In the Europa I game. think the problem that, that Mourinho has at the moment is that he, as, as Ben sort of been saying just now, is that he doesn't really know what his best 11 is. And what, so, so on the flip side, someone like Klopp has been able to do is come in in October, basically have really a free season just mm. to sort of identify who he likes, who he doesn't, and get that sort of system going and then go in. Whereas Mourinho's kind of had to sort of come straight in and sort of, he still seems to be working out, is Rooney a striker? Can he play with Zlatan? Where does he fit? Is Martial good enough on the left? Where does Rashford fit in? He's let it's, Rooney down gently, really, because he gave him the chance. Mm. And in the last two games that we saw Rooney play, not yesterday, we saw Rooney moving Hey, deeper. hell of an assist last night for Rooney. <laughs> oh, <laughs> some, look, you can't knock it. But ironically, though, sometimes something as small as that can be enough yeah. to kickstart someone. Something as stupid as that mm. can be enough to kickstart someone. But he made a great assist in the, in the Stoke game for Zlatan's yeah. header. There's I no, remember in the, in the corner, he whipped yeah. in a fantastic ball. There's no denying what the world and his wife and every Man United fan and every neutral knows what Rooney can do. Mm. It's very easy to get on the Rooney bandwagon if he's not performing. Fine, we could do that for Hazard. Mm. Yeah. But the point being is, we do know at the moment that Hazard... I like how he up. goes, but we're not going to do that. But then, <laughs> but then definitely just did exactly that. <laughs> it's like, we could say Hazard's not playing very well, but we won't, no, we're not going to. <laughs> the, problem is, the problem is, with Hazard, we know he's going to go and score braces and assists mm. all the way through the season. We mm. don't know that Rooney's still got that in him. Well, that's the thing. Is, you know, it's kind of a question now, is, is this Rooney's permanent dropping, or is it to get him back in? Do you honestly think... I mean, he's not getting any younger that we'll ever see... 
you know, top bracket, world class Wayne Rooney again. No, but I think you can. I think you can also compare him to other players like when I guess we use someone like Totti. Totti, who was like the inaugural playmaker striker, and as he got older, he found a role within the team year after year after year, whether it was his passing ability, whether it was his, his natural ability to strike the ball on target, whether it was his set pieces. Mm. Rooney's not the best penalty taker, though, unlike someone like Totti. Mm. So Rooney, 100% is fundamental to the team. He knows the place inside out. He's not a natural-born leader. He's a natural-born player.